guys, my name is Emma, aka Little Mix Girl, and how's you doing today? Thank you guys for clicking on this video and for coming back on my channel. If you guys are new here, just a little bit about me. I do faith-based lifestyle vlogs, content. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna get into this video really, really fast. I kind of got the inspiration for this video based off of another Christian YouTuber. I'm gonna talk about how I was single for a whole year and currently still single. In this moment of singleness, I'm learning to be married to God, but also being prepared for marriage. So that's the season that I'm in right now. But I just thought it would be very interesting if I shared you, shared a story time with you guys of when I was single for a whole year um, up to now 2022. So this started in 2020 after I broke up with a really, really bad guy. Um, and actually, I'll have that video linked up here or here, wherever the little card is, um, explaining that whole relationship and that situation. 2020, I broke up with him and I was going to school. I was this freshman in college. I was minding my business. I was like, okay, I'm free now. I just need to focus on me, repairing me and getting myself back together. So I just knew after I got the relationship, I was not going to be dating. I was not going to be talking to guys. I was just going to be repairing my heart, repairing my mind, getting back to God because I was not in the right space and the right mental space to be jumping right into another relationship i just knew that and even during this time me and a guy friend that goes to my school too we started hanging out and talking with each other and <laughs> he even asked me out and i was like dude i just don't want to ruin this i just want to be friends with you because I don't have a lot of friends here, so I would really hate for this to go the wrong way because I'm not mentally prepared to get into another relationship again and then I lose a guy friend. So I did have one guy ask me out, but I was like, no, we're just gonna be friends. That season of just totally like, I don't wanna say avoiding, but just, you know, not dating. That season lasted for about a full year. So the beginning of 2020 to the beginning of 2021. So moving forward, I had to heal from the strongholds. I had to heal from the um, soul ties. I had to cut the soul ties, reform my mindset in a right way so that I would never pick a guy like that again. I literally had to allow God to do spiritual surgery on me because that situation was just like another layer of other stuff that I had to go and heal from. And so I just knew I wasn't ready to give my heart to somebody when I needed my heart healed. December 2020 happened. I was radically delivered, saved, healed from a whole bunch of baggage, hurt, strongholds, ungodly belief systems, demons. After that, I was like so super cautious of even looking at guys like before i would look at them and be like oh okay he cute he cute i might want to date him but i also still knew uh is he like my ex then after december 2020 i was like no guys just no guys i'm not even looking at them i'm just i'm going to totally ignore them and avoid them at all costs because i do not want to ruin this deliverance i don't want to <laughs> Caused myself to backslide to go back to who I was. I was just in that ultra focused, consecrated, it's just me and God season. And I love that season, but realistically, you do have to allow other people to come into your circle to build a godly community around you. I was nervous because I was like, this, I tasted freedom and I didn't want to let it go. And I knew one thing that Satan always tries to make me struggle and stumble with is with relationships with guys. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not falling for it. I see you saying I'm not going for it. So if I ever looked at a guy and thought he was cute, I would feel so convicted and I'd be like, forgive me, Lord. I don't want to be taken away from you. Um, and so that went on for a while until I started watching 
some videos about how godly marriage and courtship should be and then that is when I started relaxing and started seeing there is a beauty and a necessity for a man and a woman to come together. It is natural, it is beautiful for you to desire marriage. Once I calmed down and started hearing these men and women of God talking about um, when to know that you're ready to start dating, um, how to pray for your future husband, um, what the Bible says about marriage and courtship and how to have a biblical marriage and stuff like that, I started breathing and realizing, okay, so this is not taboo. This is nothing to be scared of. It's just something definitely to be inviting God into so that you can make the right decisions and not stumble and go back to how the world views relationships and dating and sex and marriage. So I was living through 2021 now, delivered, filled with the Holy Ghost, filled with the fire of God. I started re like really wanting and praying, okay God, instead of a relationship, instead of like dating, I want to know my future husband as a friend and start courtship with him, which leads to engagement, which leads to marriage. And so I started at that moment in 2020 forming those ideas. Now I still was very timid, very, very, very timid to go and like look at guys and, and say, oh yeah, he's handsome, he's cute, I like him because I still had to get those old mindsets out of my head that that's wrong because when I was doing that, I was in the world and I was doing it out of a lustful way instead of out of an innocent, oh, he's handsome um, way. That was an internal struggle and battle, getting rid of lustful thoughts and recognizing what's lust and then what's love. And I'm still on that journey now and I definitely suggest reading 1st Corinthians 13 4 through 7 yes and so I've been reading that a lot over myself to really reform my mind on what really is love and get out those old demonic thoughts and strongholds of lust and during this time I was being very, very selective of who I was allowing near me to. I was very, very cautious of taking people's advice unless it was based off of the word. And it was all because I just, I didn't want to slip back and fall into the old mindset and the old way of viewing guys, relationships, and stuff like that. So I was just very protective over my ears and over my eyes and over my heart and over my mind. That went on for another year. And I believe the fall of 2021 is when I started having my eyes opened up to guys again. And I was starting to see them more as like a, oh, I wanna get married. I wanna meet my future husband young. I'm ready to be in a courtship. I'm ready to meet my future husband. I'm ready to meet my best friend and my life partner. Only problem was I was now nervous. And a, and a little bit scared. Scratch that, a lot of bit scared to go talk to them. And I do not blame this on the year of singleness that I was in from 2020 to 2021. So, of course, the minute I started saying I'm ready and I wanna do it your way, I got fed with the most tempting thoughts, the most lustful thoughts, that I was just like, this ain't from God. Oh my gosh, talk about the spiritual warfare in my dreams. Saying don't like it when you try to go the other way. So, just gonna put that out there. It's like once you declare yourself, I'm gonna do it God's way, just be prepared for Satan to come back at you with retaliation because he doesn't want us to do it God's way. That all happened and it discouraged me because I was like, okay, well, never mind, never mind. Um, I will just be by myself and I will let guys go. It was a battle of whether I was going to lay dormant or whether I was going to say, no, it is not bad for me to desire marriage. I'm just not about to listen to you, Satan, and I'm going to cancel and take captive every last one of these thoughts because you're not gonna lead me astray. Thank God I chose that option instead of, you know, getting discouraged and shrinking back in and being like, 
oh my gosh, if all this attack and, and if all this pushback is happening against me, I guess I need to stop. No, you just need to be careful and alert because he is roaming around like a praying lion seeking whom he may devour. And I did feel the temptation, yeah, to go back to my old mindset of 2020 before I got delivered and like starting looking at guys lustfully and I was like, no girl, you are delivered from this. Don't do it, don't go back. So now, going to 2022, I'm still single. I turned 21. After I turned 21, I just had this feeling that this is going to be an amazing year where God shows out in mighty ways and this will be the year that sets me up for success later down in the future. And one day, me and my mom were riding home from church and I was like, I'm gonna meet my future husband this year, period. It was the Holy Spirit inside of me building up this like fire, this determination, this pushback to like the lies and to the fear of the devil saying, you're not gonna meet him. You're gonna end up just like your mother. You're gonna end up like the rest of your um, women in your generational bloodline. You're gonna fail. You're gonna slip. You're gonna fall. You're gonna have sex before marriage. You're gonna have a kid before marriage. You're not gonna meet a right guy. There is no guy. And like literally all these thoughts were coming into my head. It's with God telling me prepare okay you want to be a wife well let's get you ready let's get you prepared to be one versus the devil on the other hand saying you can't do it this is not for you all those lies right there sitting before me bouncing back and forth between my head I knew in that moment if you don't declare this now then you're allowing the devil to get glory you're allowing the devil to win so I professed out of my mouth I will meet my future husband this year and it was this power it was this fire that I haven't felt in a while and I just knew it without a shadow of a doubt I'm meeting my future husband this year and since I declared that God literally has led me and my mom to um, dear lady and who does Thursday 11 a.m. prayers for your future husband which are so powerful and so on point and then led us to Tiffany Montgomery who got a word for this year that this is the year of the bride and miraculous marriages will be happening this year it's like all of a sudden he started providing the tools that I would need and I'm very thankful for to become and get ready and prepare to be a godly wife and I just was not expecting it because like literally one day my mom was on YouTube she found your lady Anne and I was like are you kidding me? She's praying about what I profess over myself will happen this year. And then another day, my mom found Tiffany Montgomery, and I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, there, this is not a coincidence. This is God saying, okay, you profess this, so therefore, let's get you ready for it. I have to insert this clip in because I forgot one humongous important part that helped me was breaking off generational curses um, that would delay and cause setbacks and pushback against marriage. Me and my mom both started looking through our family line and looking at patterns and generational curses that happened. And then me and her just started going in, attacking them, um, breaking ties with the demons, renouncing those curses, binding those curses. So I did have to mention that because that was the most pivotal part in the whole storyline of getting to this point now where I am actively praying for my future husband. And now it's May and I just definitely feel so much more stronger in God, more connected to Him, and I am learning what it means to truly pray for your future husband. I'm also learning what it means to be a wife. And so I just want to share this, one, to encourage you, and then two, to show you where I've been, where I've come from, because there is no shame, there is no condemnation in the kingdom of God, and to show you that your desire for marriage is not ungodly. God will fulfill it and allow him to prepare you for it. But I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get notified every time I upload. Like the video, share this video with someone that you know is desiring marriage, is engaged, friends, your sisters, Send it to whoever you feel like this message would touch. And God bless you. God loves you so much. Bye, loves.